Yeah, films like this of two basketball legends are among thousands of archives that KU has devoted to the father of basketball coaching. But preserving the Fog Allen collection, I learned, won't be cheap. And he had a radio program where he... Tucked away on KU's campus, we found the vast collection. Yeah. It's certainly um, the largest collection that we have from the athletic department. 66,000 items. These are very interesting. 30 um, boxes this, worth these documenting these the glory fun. days of basketball and the man at the middle of it all, Fog Allen. And it's just such a thrill. You know, to be able to work with these collections, people tell University me. archivist Becky Schulte shows us how Fogg helped get basketball into the Olympics. Most of the time, when I saw that, I was like, cool. The sport wouldn't be the same without Fogg Allen. The 30 boxes of records certainly point that out. But some of these records have seen better days. So you can see how ragged and jagged it's falling apart. That's why the libraries and the KU Endowment have launched a campaign to raise $50,000 to preserve the collection. If we do raise enough money to do this, I'll be a lot busier, but it will be worth it. They also want to put the collection online. But his greatest piece of memorabilia isn't here. But across campus at his namesake arena, Allen Fieldhouse, where opposing teams are warned to beware of the fog. Basketball is a wonderful sport, and it's one that we can identify as an American, truly American sport. And we have the, you know, very beginnings documented here at KU. In Lawrence, Haley Harrison, KMBC 9 News.